Hi, I'm Marco Favorito, and I'm going to present imitation learning over heterogeneous agents with restraining balls. This is a joint work with Giuseppe De Giacomo, Luca Iocchi, and Fabio Patrizzi. The context for this work is learning from demonstrations. For complex tasks, specifying good the world functions and learning them can be hard. In those cases, it might be easier to teach the learning agent by showing him the desired behavior. Usually, the techniques used to achieve this kind of learning are imitation learning and inverse enforcement learning. Let's see with an example how imitation learning works. We have two agents. One is the expert agent that knows the optimal policy, and the other is the apprentice agent that tries to learn it by imitation. The expert shows traces from the optimal policy raw star to the apprentice. The apprentice processes the traces in some way, depending on the actual learning algorithm that's being used. And eventually, he learns the optimal policy. Instead, consider the scenario in which the apprentice agent has a different observation or action space. In our scenario, the previous approach won't work because the apprentice cannot understand the traces since they are expressing a different language, the observation and action space of the expert. Most common of the shelf imitation learning algorithms assume homogeneous agents, which is a problem in our scenario. Also, the main issue with inverse enforcement learning is that the optimization problem is ill-posed and the associated numerical optimization and regression problem are often brittle. In this work, we propose a new imitation learning technique that works for heterogeneous agents based on a recently introduced approach called restraining balls. Before, let's see what are restraining balls. In science fiction, in particular Star Wars, a restraining bolt is a small cylindrical device that could be affixed to a droid in order to limit its function and enforce its obedience. In AI, the restraining bolt refers to a technique recently introduced by De Giacomo et Ali in ICAPS 2019 in the context of reinforcement learning. The restraining bolt consists of a temporal specification in the form of a temporal logic formula that orders a non Markovian reward. The representation of the word used to express the temporal specification is the couple from the agent observation space. So the learning agent takes action in a world and he observes both the current world state from which the agent features are extracted and a reward signal, as in usual reinforcement learning settings. However, in our scenario, there is also the restraining bolt, a component that extracts the relevant fluent from the world state and keeps track of the satisfaction of a temporal goal. And accordingly, it gives additional reward to the agent plus the current state of the satisfaction of the goal. Let's see more in detail how a restraining bolt works. From a temporal logic formula, for example, written in linear temporal logic on finite traces, we compute an equivalent deterministic finite automaton, or DFA. In a slide, you can see an an example of the automaton corresponding to eventually always A. Then, alongside the agent world system, we simulate the automaton and we give to the agent both the current state of the automaton and the reward associated to the temporal goal. Crucially, the agent only observes the DFA state and the features, and it can be proved that it does need to observe the fluent in order to learn the temporal specification. To make this idea clearer, consider the game Breakout, where the goal is to control a paddle in order to bounce the ball upwards to destroy the brick. Consider the temporal specification to break the columns of bricks from left to right. On the left, you can see how the world actually is, and on the right, you can see how the agent sees the world. In particular, notice that the learning agent doesn't need to observe the bricks, but it, it's not for him to know at which point of the satisfaction of the goal he is. Going back to our example, we can address the problem of heterogeneity in the following way. We transform the traces in a higher level language such that the restraining bolt can understand them. Each trace is labeled by the expert as a positive or negative trace. Then we give these labeled traces as input to a model learning algorithm for instance, the Anglin-LSAR algorithm. However, 
notice that any model learning that can be used as a passive learning algorithm is good as well. The model learning algorithm will give an approximation of an automaton that models the traces. Finally, the restraining bolt guides the apprentice with the learned model. Notice that the apprentice doesn't need to understand the expert language. If the model is good enough, the apprentice agent can learn the goal specified by the restraining bolt. Now, we will see some case studies to show the usefulness of the approach. In the first example, we used breakout as a learning environment. The task consists in breaking the columns from left to right. In this example, the fluence describes the state of each column. The expert agent is able to shoot in order to break the columns. The apprentice agent instead can only use the ball. We also tried the approach of the Sapientino environment. The task for the robot is to visit some colors in a certain order. The fluence captured the visit of the robot to color the cells. The expert agent was able to move left, right, up and down, whereas the apprentice agent can turn left, right, or move back, forward and backward. In the last example, we use a Minecraft-like environment. The goal is to get resources and use tools to accomplish a sequential task. The fluent task talk about the resource obtained or the tool used. The expert has teleporting capabilities, whereas the apprentice can only work through the grid as in the previous example. In all the case studies, the generated traces were complete enough to get a good approximation of the restraining bolt, hence letting the apprentice agent to learn the optimal policy against the target reward. To summarize, our contribution consists in a new framework to perform imitation learning over heterogeneous agents using restraining balls. That is, there is no requirement of homogeneity between the expert and the apprentice agent in terms of observation or action space. Moreover, the synthesis of the reward function at the logical level, the restraining balls representational level, avoids the use of numerical optimization and regression that are often brittle in off-the-shelf inverse enforcement learning algorithms. As a future work, we would like to expand our work considering low-level observation or action space that will allow us to scale the approach to robotics environment. Also, we would like to devise two query mechanisms to the expert, for example, using active learning. Thank you for your attention.